my friends so I bet you've heard that you need to be posting all the time that you need to be posting every day that you need to be posting on different platforms that you need to be constant and consistent and persistent posting on Twitter on LinkedIn on Facebook you know Instagram Snapchat LinkedIn oh, I always said LinkedIn so you got to be posting all the time so I bet you've heard that but you know what if you're like me you don't have time to be posting all the time I certainly don't have time I have a job I have a family I have things that I got to do I can't be on social media posting all the time and I bet you're that you're like me and you don't have the time to post everywhere or even on one single social media platform very uh, very regularly and being consistent and posting like I don't know say on Facebook twice a day or something <laughs> you don't even have the time to do that so what do you do you quit no what you do is you use automation now you, I've been using automation for years and you know you're listening to this because are you watching this because I said the best automation tools right what are the best automation tools to automate and we're going to talk about the automation tools that I use in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so automation what is it that gets you automation that gets you to schedule things ahead of time so that you can focus on your on your life so you can take I don't know you can just choose one day in the in the week and you can schedule a whole bunch of posts and then you're done for the week right so what can you do how how is it possible to do that there's a bunch of different tools I use and I'm not you know I'm not that great I don't have it precise I don't have it perfect it's and I'm not doing my posts regularly exactly at the same time but and you know you can do that it's really up to you so there's a couple of things first let's look at how you can automate directly in the platforms that allow you to schedule so let's look at that first let's look at say Facebook let's just share my screen here so this is one of my pages I get a whole bunch of pages on Facebook but let's say this one here Kirsten Income Secrets which is actually an audio the uh, if you're listening to the audio or the video this is what I'm talking about course income secrets and today is episode 227 of CIS so you go to cis227.jsgagnon.com to go check it out if you're listening to the audio go to that site to go look at the video or the blog post but so right now I'm this is the Facebook page a Facebook page which all the posts on there right you can see the posts you can actually schedule something on here by just posting so let's say for example I click on the great big create post button on my Facebook page and I can type in here this is a post done whoops post done during the CIS 226 episode of course income secrets course income income secrets all right so I can do that right I just go like this I'll just copy it for something else but CIS 226 which you can see or read more about at CIS 226 jsgangout.com right so you can go that there and that's going to be the post but for now if I just post this if I just click the post button right it's going to post on my page but on Facebook you can schedule it so you can go and publishing tools let's just copy this I'm not sure if that'll keep if I click on publishing tools let's just go to publishing tools <clears throat> it opens up a new tab and then goes to the publishing tools of the page which is where you see all your posts and you see insights you see you know um what people have uh, have uh, the engagement you get you know like you can see I don't get a lot but uh, this page here I only have like 30 or so likes right so it's I'm not a, it's not I'm not promoting this page to grow on Facebook I'm I'm using it to post my content right but so if I click on create posts here right in the publishing tools I can type that same exact text in here and then I can say 
instead of share now I can say the schedule I can set the schedule right here I can even backdate it you can backdate it so it's posted yesterday or whatever right it just shows up in your timeline as being posted on a date in the past so if I schedule it I'm just going to schedule it for let's say tomorrow and let's make it 11 11 a.m 11.03 so select the date yeah, I don't know what I, yeah so I'm not going to worry about that but that's all I'm going to do just schedule and now when I schedule when I click it it'll actually not post right now it'll go on that date tomorrow right tomorrow 11.03 so it's going to be in my list of uh, scheduled posts right here you can see I have that right there and it's scheduled for and I can actually edit it and change it and that kind of stuff if I want it that's that's Facebook now on Twitter <clears throat> on Twitter you can do that too so if I just click the tweet button in my Twitter account and I paste that in here right I want to schedule this I'm just going to click the schedule right here I'm going to say it's going to be for tomorrow the 27th at 10 a at 11 I said right 11 let's say 11 oh three whatever right and uh, I'm just going to say confirm and now it's going to schedule it for that time we'll send on Sunday September 27th no is it what what happened there did I not pick the right date oh September 22nd 22 I don't know how did I not there you go okay so Tuesday September 22 so this is post done during the CIS 226 episode of course income secrets which you can see or read more at CIS 226 now I'm not sure in Twitter because it saves it like this it might actually have this link here which I don't really want so there's there's reasons why you might want to because what happens is it'll it takes the current link assumes that link is active which it's not yet because this is an episode I'm doing right now and it's not necessarily active so that's so I'm not sure I don't use this so I'll show you what I actually use but uh, I'm just saying you might want to watch for this right because the link that's there currently isn't the link to my page and that's just the way I do things but I'm just going to schedule this now it's going to be posted tomorrow your tweet will be seen on the 22nd at whatever right okay so that's on Twitter on LinkedIn I was actually looking to see how you can schedule posts and I actually and I haven't done it before so I was kind of looking how do you schedule posts in LinkedIn <laughs> so I just did a Google search and I came up with LinkedIn marketing solutions here how do you schedule posts on your organization's LinkedIn page because uh um yeah because I was just wondering if it's possible and uh when you read it you say the answer is yes but you can indeed schedule with the help of with the help with help of third party tools right with help third party which is what I do I I use third party I don't do you know I don't go in my in my uh, Facebook and and schedule things you could it's probably it might even be better I'm not sure in terms of engagement in terms of you know the right way to do it and all that uh with Pinterest you can do the same thing you can actually schedule a post also on uh you, uh yeah you can't schedule an Instagram there's a lot there's other platforms you can't schedule you can schedule in in Tumblr uh you can schedule in lots of other platforms but I but yeah okay so the the three top ones right Facebook LinkedIn and Twitter how to schedule so what do I do is I use these third-party tools so I've already done episodes on uh buffer if you want to go look that up there's going to be a there's going to be a link in the blog post you can go check that out same thing with only wire and with social jukebox those are the three tools that I use to automate my posts and I don't use I don't use it necessarily to schedule them um the way that I'm showing you how to schedule on a specific date and time although you can use them for that and we're going to show you how to do that but those three tools you can actually go find them on my blog and also if you go to my blog here, let me show you if you go to my blog jeansergegagnon.com right jean serge jean serge Gagnon, if i can spell right so j-e-a-n-s-e-r-g-e-g-a-g-n-o-n.com that's my blog so if you go there to my blog you're going to see on the right hand side 
you're going to see there's all these uh, categories right there so the categories you can just go straight to uh automation you can go to automation right here the word automation you can click on that <laughs> and that'll take you to the automation post that I did like for example last three that I did plus this one here is going to be in there too uh so course income secrets 224 how to automate it, how to automate social media with uh oh there's more okay sorry 224 how to automate social media posts with buffer how to automate social media posts with um uh, the the words not there uh, with uh, only wire that's number 225 and then 226 with with was with social jukebox and then there's other automation things where I did a canva uh, how to create content once and post to 14 platforms uh chatbot um there's all these different posts but automation is where you'll find these things so let's uh talk about the tools I use okay first buffer so buffer um I'm just going to log in here buffer lets you uh, put a whole bunch of items in a queue and then you can choose how that queue gets uh sent out so for example and with buffer you can you can connect uh, Twitter LinkedIn Facebook Instagram and Pinterest so you can get five different social media accounts and you can connect uh, pages on Facebook and um on LinkedIn you can connect your profile and pages uh, by the way you can't connect pages on Facebook or I mean per your profile on Facebook that's not allowed on on Instagram if it's a business profile you can you can automate now that's new you couldn't do that before you would have to cut and paste and post but with uh, with now with the the I guess new rules they allow that on Pinterest you can automate to a particular a board a post that goes there but the way it works is you just add things to your queue so let's say for example I have uh, this queue that's empty let's just add to this queue I'm just going to go in here <laughs> I'm just going to type in uh, well actually the same thing I did on the other one uh, I don't want him to convert that why is he doing that uh, https http slash slash cis226 no 227 did I do that right oh no it's 227 isn't it it is 227 227 oh no not 226 sorry about that 227 cis227.jsgagnon.com so okay so that's um and then there it's showing me different these these things from the page but that's because it went and fetched that page right now I just want to add to queue and I'm going to put it in all my queues on my LinkedIn on my Facebook and I can't do it on Pinterest because I need an image actually let's do that let's just post my there you go and oh it's not letting me why is it not letting me please include an image I did include an image huh? oh he doesn't want me to choose an image he wants me to include an image so I have to upload an image for Instagram okay <clears throat> okay yeah so now I automated this and it's just adding it to the queue right I'm just going to add it to the queues of the different accounts there and what that does and let's just wait for it to finish it's adding now uh, there you go okay so now it's added to the queue so now in this case in buffer you're basically you basically have a preset schedule for each of your uh social platforms right so under here I can look at the settings of this particular one and it's and I can look at the posting schedule <coughs> and as you can see right here it says I'm posting every day at 9 a.m every day at 6 p.m and every day at 9 48 p.m so if I wanted to have uh, the enough items for for today I would have to put at least three things in my queue for buffer right so and but you can change that you can change the schedule to once a day you can change the schedule to only once a week if you want it's really up to you so you can schedule that the way that you want the way that you think is best for your um for your audience for what you're trying to accomplish right uh but so yeah so then you can just put whatever in these different queues and I I like to use images so uh, quote images so let's say I go back to the queue here and I just add something new 
to my Instagram I'm just going to upload an image from my queue under my queue over here quote images let's see zero zero so let's just I don't know this one here it doesn't really matter uh there you go Grant Cardone so I can say something here I can say uh, what does it say thinking big takes the same amount of time it says thinking small I was gonna say all right you thinking small small shame on you <clears throat> okay so now I've got text and I got an image I can say I want this to go everywhere I can't do two Twitter two Twitter accounts at the same time and Pinterest I would have to specify a board right so let's just doesn't really matter I'll put it in there there you go add to queue so now it's going to add that to the queue now I'm going to have two two items in my in most of the oh I guess there's um uh, so now I have uh, that I added two items to my queue in my case I have queues that had more stuff in it and things like that so that's it don't worry about that but in your case if you're starting out you'll have nothing in any of those queues uh, of course you got to go to manage social accounts in buffer and you got to go uh, connect and manage these different uh, you can say add new social account so when you add a social account you first have to connect to the social network whether it's Facebook LinkedIn Twitter and or Instagram or or, or uh, Pinterest and then after that you have to add a particular um do you no longer work Instagram all oh, right okay personal profiles so I can add two more social accounts so a social account is let's say over here my Facebook group let's say Pinterest can I do a specific let me see or is that going to be a separate I forget Pinterest I haven't used that much with this but I'm going to give access that's what I want and I want to see if it's gonna no it doesn't let you it's connected but <clears throat> yeah with with uh with Pinterest it's the account that's connected whereas with um, LinkedIn and Facebook it's profile and pages so if I want to connect let's say I want to connect another page another well I don't have more than one page let's go to Facebook and add another page let me see how that works so see how I have all these pages I'm just going to put astral search as a new page and I'm going to say connect these pages well let's let's do these ones now these are connected two more right now I have two more pages connected and you'll see it'll say if I go back to social accounts you'll see that it shows that I can't connect more it doesn't let me do more now there's no more you can connect two more if I wanted to add a new one it'll it'll want me to upgrade right well it looks like uh, I said the limit of social accounts now I would have to upgrade to um their their business which is 100 bucks a month so the pro plan is 15 but okay so that's uh there you go that's gonna go back so now I have all those connected if I go back to my dashboard <coughs> now I can see that that these ones are here right so is there Jade going is there right so those are new and I can add things to their to their queue too if I want it but you can add something and put it in all the queues at the same time and then you can shuffle your queue I talk about that in the other episode you should go check that out on buffer okay I'm going to go to the next one only wire is also another one I use I'm just going to log in here only wire is a little different than buffer in the sense that it's meant for link sharing uh, so you can't share just an image for example or just uh, an update you have to share a link there always has to be a link in <laughs> in what you share so I kind of use um see like for example I got Danny Johnson in here I've got uh, my blog and I've also got other other um I got uh, Eric worries um uh, my um network marketing pro as a as a feed so what you do is an automation so first you go to your networks and you connect your different networks the different networks that you have I don't know why this is con constantly failing uh credentials invalid that's not that's not true I don't know why it's <clears throat> so this, this is something you got to check regularly is make sure that your everything's connected as you can see right now I'm, I've got these errors four errors all these groups are all invalid 
this page is saying this is invalid or well that is I don't want this one I don't want this page I want my JS Gagnon over here oh there you go okay uh I don't want this 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 group here well I want these girl. okay I don't know why they're why they're complaining they're fine those are all good so but that's part okay so once you have all your networks because with the only wire you can you can connect up to 20 different networks uh it's not just you know like with buffer it's the only five right uh we'll fix that later but um so as you can see I've got Pinterest reddit slash dot insta paper image of WordPress my even MySpace on there blogger tumblr live journal book pocket I don't know what those are uh Facebook uh there's no Instagram on here there's uh is there Pinterest I forget this Pinterest yeah Pinterest is there too <clears throat> um what else is there anyway so there's a couple differences but like I said you you can't just post an image that's why I use buffer because I like to post just images or at least images with text with no links uh so you can do that with buffer but not with only wire but uh with only wire you can you can feed in rss feeds up to three on the on the basic plan so then what happens is you have a queue right so this is the queue this is what's in the queue uh scheduled bounced that's interesting the subreddit only has text posts oh okay without a url that's interesting uh that that contradicts what I just said but when I tried to create a post it wouldn't let me post it without a link so I'm not really sure if I go here I uh, just go to post and let's just create a new post just up here there's a new post button I'm just going to put the text in here which I do have a link so let's see what happens now I can schedule it for now <clears throat> or I schedule it for like I did with the other one at 10 11 a.m 11 or 11, oh, 11 15 set time there you go so this will post to all these different uh, pages I selected <coughs> hmm. if I do this it won't let me oh it depends on where you're posting some of them require this so if I was to unselect everything uh, no let's just unselect this all these let's un unselect everything I just want to see what where it is so that's why I I thought I needed a URL but I think it depends on where you're posting if I uncheck everything we'll see what happens I don't have any okay there you go so post to let's say this page it still shows that I need a title and a URL that's kind of weird have errors must be resolved well let's see what happens if I post to say just LinkedIn post it won't let me so that's kind of weird that it says that it wants me to post that's a group post to one profile maybe the title has to be in there so uh post post from only one oops from no, it doesn't work either so it wants a url I don't I don't understand why it's http it's 227 not 226 well that's good I caught it okay let's put this url in there then it replaces a text that's one of the things I find kind of annoying of only but anyways I don't use it for that except that as as you get used to it you might you might be able to um to do that right to do that using this uh, this method right you might be able to get to a point where you understand enough about all that <clears throat> let's just uh, there we go okay so that's only wire so only wire lets you post to different it's kind of it kind of looks weird that it's not working but I use it mostly for automation so whenever I create a new uh, a new blog post it goes off to all these different platforms automatically and I also included some other like Danny Johnson and Eric Ward like I said because those are kind of the 
things that my audience is interested in <clears throat> so I post that in there too right all right so the next one is social jukebox social jukebox is actually my favorite one of these the three automation tools I also use IFTT and they've uh, they've recently changed what they allow um IFTT is IFTTT if this then that they recently announced a uh, pro which allows you to uh, create uh, unlimited um, applets but you can you can use unlimited applets in the basic the free plan you just use unlimited applets the ones that exist already uh, the difference is that when you when you create an applet with IFTT IFTTT you can choose if this happens then do that right you can actually create the rules and make it do something based on accounts and actions and results right if this then that so if this happens then do this right <laughs> and um they're they're the free plan now allows you to create only th three of your own applets which lots of people are seem to be complaining about but uh, really there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of pre-made applets that you probably that's all you want anyways if if I post a new video on my YouTube I want it to go to my my blog or if I post a new or if um, NASA posts a picture of the day post it to my uh, tumblr or Pinterest or whatever all those things are already there so you don't need to create applets applets are the ones where you choose the rules <clears throat> but existing applets that are done by other people you can just use <clears throat> as long as the rules are and the, the and there's there are there's thousands of them but anyways that's one of the tools I use but like I said social jukebox is the one I really like the most so social jukebox lets you create jukeboxes um and as you can see right here this is a jukebox that contains uh 457 posts in it right now I created the jukebox I called it blog post and in here <clears throat> every day after I post a new blog I add uh, a, a new um I add a new post in here and what what I do in here is I I just put the beginning of the blog post right and I say read more at with the link to the actual post and I have an image there and what that does if I just I'll just cancel it so what that does is it adds it to a queue so it's not a queue it's a it's a jukebox it's basically like a jukebox in a in a in a restaurant where you can um choose and play randomly and things like that so what the the tool does it lets you share to Twitter Facebook and LinkedIn so the three different networks and for each of those three networks you can have up to 10 jukeboxes and your jukeboxes can have I'm I'm not sure if there's a limit but hundreds and hundreds of posts in them and the way it works is you can set a schedule and it'll pick something in the jukebox to post whenever a schedule time uh, happens it'll pick randomly so this is not good if you uh, if you want to sp post specific thing well I, you can still use it I can still create targeted posts so targeted posts this was an automation thing I did so targeted posts is basically um let's edit it just to see so this one here started on the 23rd of January at 11 a.m and ended on the 27th so just a few a few days right a week and it was posting to either a profile or a company page on my LinkedIn in this case it was my profile and then frequencies it was less than a day frequency hours you can set it to post right so you can choose to post two three times a day um uh for a specific just for a week so say you've got a promotion going on or something you can use that and the other thing you can do too is let's see uh under my jukeboxes any of these jukeboxes let's say I look at the, the YouTube videos <coughs> in the options I can make this instead of a regular jukebox I can do a once and done or a date range if I do a date range right it's it's going to tell them it's going to be a specific date range to post right uh it's just like a regular jukebox, but the jukebox will start and then stop right so if you 
set a date range jukebox it'll only work for that amount of time so you could create a jukebox with 50 posts that have to do with a promotion you're doing right and it'll just randomly post those those items in the jukebox the other one is a once and done so the once and done is uh well it doesn't show but the once and done is basically you create the jukebox and it'll post everything in the jukebox randomly picking what's in it but once they're all posted there's no more posts that happen you can still reuse it later or something by resetting it or recreating it. but a regular jukebox is the one where it picks and posts you know regularly throughout the day so that's so those are the three tools I use to automate now I'm not going to go I didn't go into too much detail on all of these but if you go check out the different blog posts for each of those on my blog you're going to find more details on each of the different options you can have in here for each of the tools and yeah and all, as always if you have any questions of course reach out and just go ahead and send me a message or connect with me on social media and send me a message on those or email me there's done tons of ways to contact me and and I'll help as best I can all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time